Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Christopher Comer for Real Fishing. Back at it again. You know how we do it. Been trying to get out in the water for a minute, though. But we just bought a house, so we're moving. And it's been kind of hectic trying to get everything in. You know how it is. But we are back out in the water. It's a windy day, overcast. Uh, temperature outside is probably about 70 degrees. Real nice day feels like spring's starting to come back in but it's nice it's good to be back out in the water let's get some uh see what we can get into um today i'm gonna try to target some gar you know some gar some carp you know get some carp bait i need some carp bait um so let's see what we can get yo appreciate you guys taking time to watch the video like always it really means a lot everybody that takes the time to watch the video I may not be the biggest or the best fisherman in the world, but I do love and, and enjoy what I do. So, again, thank you guys for taking that time to watch this video. And let's see what Lady Luck can bring us again. Alright, y'all. See you guys in a bit. get y'all all right you guys what's up i'm gonna go ahead and make my pack bait that's what i'm gonna use today i'm gonna use pack bait make some uh some carp pack baits i'll show you guys how i do it it's pretty easy watch my lines at the same time get a big bag some bread crumbs I like Planko plain breadcrumbs because they're very thick. I don't know if you guys can see. They're very thick. You get a good consistent pack, pack bait. So. Keep your trash. Corn. Normal corn. Full corn kennel. Sweet corn. Actually, I'll put the Kool-Aid packing in. I think that's all I'm gonna make. So Kool-Aid. I mean the jello. <laughs> no jello. Trash, trash. Uh, seeds for later. Seeds for later. And then uh, put some juices. Some kernels. This is the kernels. Yep. Now you guys probably seen this. I'm not the only one who's done this before. So. You want it thick? You don't want it too thick? You want to be able to make it into a ball right still want to be able to make it into a ball but when if we still want it so when it falls into the water it, it breaks up you want it to break up in the water that's what you want let's just put some more kernels you want it to break up in the water so it falls on the floor and it gives the carp something to eat and then i'll show you guys the way i set it up my um the way i set up my carp carp rod i'll show you guys that let me wash my hands real quick give me a second all right i'm back sun's coming up my hands are red so you sit that you let that sit out for a minute and um what it'll do is they'll go ahead and harden up too so i'm gonna use my light rod I like I actually like catching carp on the light rod. It's so much fun. It's got 15 pound, 15 pound mono, big game trading. So what I do is I go ahead and I'll clip, you know, whatever I had before. Take that off. Take off this. Clean it up. 
I'm still gonna use the same hook. Still gonna use the same hook. The hook I have is a one aught Gamogatsu circle. I'm gonna make one ounce Gamogatsu octopus, not circle, just octopus. I'll use a one ounce bang sinker. Scratch. Sorry guys, if it's windy, you guys can't really hear me. All right, so now I'm gonna get some line. <clears throat> my little, my little box. All right, pretty simple. It's kind of like you doing a Santee rig. I used to do it almost like doing a Santee rig, right? So I'll get a right here with a swivel, right? Get my line back. Throw it back. All right. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put my swivel on. I usually do an improved clinch knot, right? Twist it a couple times. I think it go about 10 times, I need to go about 10, right? Goes back, back through, a, through a loop, right? Wet it up, tighten it down, cut the tag in. Then, I'm gonna put, I think this is 25 pound leader line. So I'll get a big amount because I don't know how, how much I'm going to tie. The leader line. What I do is I put it same spot right here. Same thing. Prove clinch. Same thing. I put about 10 loops real quick. Right. Back from the stem itself. Lick it. Lick it. So I'm moistening it up. Right? Make sure it's nice and tight. So what I do is I, I go, I don't go very big. I go about right here on the on the thing. So when I pack it, I put the hook back in. So I don't know, it's about what three inches, three, four inches? So what I do is, I do just do a double knot, right, double knot, like you tie your shoes, do that first knot, a little loop, see, tighten it up, I check my knot, pull it nice and tight, right, cut the remainder in, cut the remainder off. So now I got a little, a little loop here, right? So with this little loop, what I do, I put my hook through it, right, through the eyelid. All right, I couldn't put it through that through the one knot because uh, I usually use 20 pound. This is 25, so I couldn't, couldn't get through. So I'm gonna go for a three, three out. Should be good enough. See, a lot easier. Goes through, put it right through the loop, slinch down. There we go, right? So then I put my bank sinker through here. And all I got, see how very close, falls in the water. Hopefully that carp gets it. All right. Now we pack it. Should be good. Yep. Nice consistency. Nice ball. I'm going to put a big ball in this thing. Put a big ball. So, hack bait. Alright. So, what I do is ball. 
put my weight in it. I'm gonna pack, pack it around my weight or lead, whatever you guys want to call it, weight or lead. Right? Pack it in there. Right around it, nice and tight. Right? That's what I got. Pack B, right? So, there's the so again. Now what I do is I get some kernels, sweet corn, sweet kernels. I put maybe I don't know, two or three, whatever you prefer. Two or three. Sorry about the wind again, guys. It's windy. All right. So now I put this hook in the pack bait as well right so now I pack it all together in one big ball just like this so like my hooks already in there my weights on top so what happens when this hits in the water right it's everything's gonna land together so it's gonna hit hit in the water right it's gonna fall on the ground. The hook's gonna fall right in the area where all the food's at. So when the carp starts eating, it grabs your hook, right? Because it's gonna see the kernel on it. And bam, we got ourselves a carp. I'll throw it in the water. You guys can see. We wait for a carp, guys. See what we get. What that? Look at that. What did I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? Look at this big old baby. Look at that. You see that, y'all? That carp bait. I'm telling you. I wish y'all would have put that seen it on the video he put up a fight yes he did look at that I think it might be a little too big for me to keep for bait but look at that y'all that car bait man it sure works look at that beautiful beautiful all right we'll put it back in the water all right, y'all, that carp bait. <laughs> nice channel cut, bro. Let me kick you out with me. All right, you guys. Here we go. Yeah, my carp rod and the carp bait is doing better than any other bait that I have right now. Nice little channel. Man, he is in his eye, bro. Look at that. Nice channel. Good eater size. There's my dinner. There's my din din right here, you guys. My din din. Nice channel cam. Look at that. This was caught shallow too. I would say about 10 feet in front of the bank, maybe three feet of water, about three feet of water. So they're running up shallow feet. So there's my dinner, y'all. There's my dinner. Yee. All right, y'all, stay tuned.
Another one, baby boy. Hey, I love fighting on that, on that light tackle, y'all. Hey. Y'all see it? All right, let me bring y'all with me. Woo! What a fight, y'all. Love fighting them. Carp on them light tackle, y'all. Look at that. Another big boy. Another one, y'all. Another one. Y'all see it? Come closer. Look at that big boy. At least 20 pounds. Yeah, big boy. 15, maybe 15. Man, man, they put up a fight, yo. I'm telling you. On light tackle, you gotta be finessed with that. Look at that. Came to get carp, I'm getting them. Say hi to the people. Say hi to the people. <laughs> All right, y'all. Man. I got tired of just getting him. He a big boy. He heavy. He's heavy. All right, y'all. Take your time, guys. Appreciate it. See what we get before we leave, y'all. Another one in the books, baby. Another one in the books. Walmart brand. Sedell. Right? Tsunami. 15-pound mono. Right? Comes down with a one-ounce weight. One-ounce lead. And we got what? Four inch, 25 mono, three uh, octopus hook. That's it. That's it, y'all. So we'll, we'll match it up again. Hey, y'all, appreciate it, y'all. Thank you guys again. Appreciate it, y'all. I really do. Let's see if we can get one more before we had to go. All right. Peace. All right, y'all. That's going to go ahead and do it for the day. Came out here to get some carp, maybe some gar. Didn't get no gar, but I did get some carp. Even got a channel cat off my, my, what is it? My ultimate carp bait, <laughs> that's what I call it. So, eh, you, anybody can make it, but to me, it's it, it, it's the money when it comes to catching carp. If they're there, you, you're you gonna catch them. And the way we set, the way I set it up, you're gonna get them that way. So, hey, but again, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the video. It means a lot. You know, if you guys want to see more, hit that subscribe button. You know, if you got hit that, that notification bell, y'all see when I upload that next video. And I appreciate you guys taking time to watch the video again. As always, this is Chris McCoy, Real Fishing, everybody. Until next time, peace.